What's up guys, Peter from the GameClouds.com again and today I'm going to review the app Real Racing 3. Um, first thing I want to say about the app is that it's taking a lot of space of, space of your device. I'm going to check in my settings menu how much it takes but it's a lot so before um, installing this make sure you have enough space left. So uh, let me just go back here then apps let's see mm, it's loading let's sort them on size okay they, this could take a while because I have a lot of apps installed he's still searching for the big ones oh he's still sorting them on name then I'm going to search for the R Real Racing look Real Racing 3 1.2 gigabyte that's a lot ah now it's sorted here Real Racing 3 it's my is the second biggest app on my tablet so um, make sure you have enough room okay now I'm going to show you um, the app let's search um, start re-racing tree the game is loading first of all I want to say something about the graphics they are really great um, you you can see that anti-aliasing isn't very high but the graphics are um, very good for a mobile device in my tablet um, there is an Nvidia Tegra tree and um, it runs, the, it runs the game very smoothly so this is the menu um, he was just showing my car I have several of them but this uh, one um, is the one I drove last in so um, there are a lot of different series like they call them um, yeah, um, every time you buy a new car there are um, a lot of extra series unlocked because you need that car to um, raise in them. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you just uh, a quick demo of me um, racing. I'm going to take a race that's not very difficult because I'm not that good in this game. I played it a lot um, the last week but yeah I'm not that good in games so just looking for a good one let's take this one I have three cars in this um, series that I can use I'm going to use my most expensive and best car so that I increase my chances to win hope you can see this so um, this real racing app has something that's called um, time shifted multiplayer which means that um, everything you do will be recorded and then played again um, in someone else's race so all the cars you see here aren't computer controlled but are controlled by players not live but um, it's recorded it's actually very nice because you can challenge someone someone but you don't have to be online at the same time so now, I, now I'm just going to the first place I'm 19th, 18th, 17th it's going very well the other cars um, use their brakes very much um, especially in the um, corners so if you want to pause them um, you'll have to wait until the corners and then you can um, bypass them easily as you can see there are uh, many players with Chinese or Japanese uh, characters I can't read them but um, there are a lot of players from Asia not that it bothers me 
I just noticed it. So I'm sixth for the moment. As you can see, it runs perfectly, and um, the graphics quality is um, high for a mobile device. As I men mentioned before, the anti-aliasing isn't very advanced, but yeah, that's the only disadvantage of the graphics. The gameplay is also very good, and um, the app is very responsive when I tilt my um, tablet. You can change the way um, you control your car. You can use on-screen um, buttons, and uh, you can um, change the fact that you have to push the screen to um, brake, um, to um, pushing the screen to accelerate. I hope I win. <laughs> Just one lap. I'm going to do this just a bit further. All right. The last lap. Um, the game is in Dutch because I live in Belgium and um, I forgot to change the language settings. But you um, can play it in a lot of languages. This is actually uh, one of the best uh, games that I've played um, on my tablet that were free. There aren't a lot of apps that are free and um, have this functionality. You can buy extra things in the store though if you want to, but um, it costs a lot of money. money and you don't really need it. You can play the game without buying those extra in-app uh, purchasements. Every time your car gets broken um, you have to fix it and that costs money and takes some time so it's best um, to have uh, two or more cars because um, you have to wait um, some time so I earned four thousand five hundred dollars alright um, let's continue I have uh, four things that are broken on my car because I drove a bit too wild um, I'm going to repair all of them this costs uh, a lot of money and um, you have to maintain your car because um, um, your oil can um, you can run out of oil or your engine uh, has to be rebuilt so um, this costs some money and it takes quite some time I'm going back to the menu to show you the different controls Yeah, loading time is actually very good for um, this heavy app. Um, let's go to my settings here in the corner, then press this button. You can change um, your audio settings and um, your um, metric settings. here you can change uh, your controls um, there are very much controls there are a lot of controls um, you can um, steer, the, steer the game with buttons or just by tilting it I think it's the most um, handy to tilt it to steer your car and um, it's the default way to control it you have to um, push the screen to um, to use your brakes. Okay, um, I I really like this app, and if you want to try it, 
just download it from the Play Store or the um, App Store. It's very nice and it's free. Thank you for listening and see you next time.